Hi, welcome to another Tasty Tuesday on Christie's A Plus Cooking. Today, B is for bacon, and our featured recipe is chicken bacon ranch pasta. Last summer, I started craving chicken bacon ranch recipes and so I went on the search and found this recipe but it called for bottled Alfredo sauce and I said no 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 so I used a copycat Olive Garden and then Lindsay my daughter Lindsay found an even better recipe and so that's what we're gonna make today I've already melted two sticks of butter you can use salted or unsalted and you're gonna turn um, your stove on low. I'm doing my electric frying pan because it's just easier to show. And I added three cups of heavy whipping cream. This is not a Weight Watcher recipe. And we're gonna combine those and simmer for about two minutes. The cream and butter have simmered for about two minutes, and now I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of ranch dressing mix, and about three garlic cloves minced. Stir that in. And then the last thing we're gonna do for the sauce is to add Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna use three cups. Already grated, or you can grate, freshly grate it yourself. And then you're gonna cook that for about another minute till the cheese is all melted. You need to cook about two and a half cups of dry pasta. I like the penne rigatti, and you can choose whatever kind you want. And then you're gonna take two and a half, two to three cups of rotisserie chicken that has been in bite-sized pieces and put on top of that. And then you're just gonna add your sauce on top of that. I then poured the sauce over the chicken and the pasta and I'm just gonna stir it slightly so that it gets underneath the pasta. You can also just add it all into one pan and then pour it in. And then we're gonna put two, about two cups of mozzarella cheese on top. Like I said, it's not a Weight Watcher <laughs> recipe. And bake it on 350 for about 15 minutes. The pasta bake for about 15 minutes, and while that's going on, you can make your bacon for the topping. I like to use my special microwave bacon maker that I got at Amazon, and it cooks six pieces of bacon perfectly, one minute per slice, and then I cooled it off and just cut it up, and now I'm gonna place it on, on top, and then we're gonna bake it for about five more minutes just to crisp up the bacon a little bit and warm it up. You can add more if you'd like. Here is today's recipe. The pasta baked for a total of 20 minutes and it smells amazing. If you're enjoying my videos, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell all your family and friends about it. Thanks for watching Tasty Tuesday, and I'll see you next week.